Good day gentlemen, this is a fuse box of BMW X5, mine is a 2009 model but it's the same from 2007 to 2014, so uh, it has a blown fuse which is incorporated into the fuse box itself and it is not uh, replaceable from outside uh, by the conventional method so generally whenever there is a problem with the fuse box people just change it or the uh, shop asks you to change the entire fuse box you may try this and it might uh, be helpful for you just uh, go through if it helps you save a lot of money everyone this is the uh, dismantled fuse box uh, which uh, is located just below the glock compartment uh, you can see here uh, these four are fuse which is inbuilt to the fuse box if you take it out you can see that I have uh, shown how to open the fuse box uh, in my early videos uh, one of my fuse has burned off which goes uh, directly to the uh, AC fan blower so here is how I diagnosed Uh, the multimeter connected uh, just to know the connectivity if there is a connection or not you can see that this is from the main terminal and this is the output here you can see there is no output coming out from the second one yeah it has contact third one has contact and the fourth one is also having contact you can see that the first one has no contact at is open circuit so this particular fuse has blown out and uh, this fuse number is uh, 48 on this particular fuse box you, uh, how I found uh, the particular fuse is like going to the TIS in the TIS you can see this is the blower uh, output the blower motor resistor uh, what do you call it FCU something like that there are three connections coming into the FCU one two three uh, this is a ground connection this is a regular 30 uh, the 30 means the voltage is always supplying to the resistor whether car is on or off uh, the supply always coming in this 31 means it's always grounded to the body or the negative terminal and this is the signal going from our uh, controlling unit you can see here a a11a that means is the particular module where we increase the ac uh, fan speeds things like that that's the one this is the fcu uh, the resistor and this is the blower motor so connection number one two and there is one more connection in here and the second connection you can see it's directly going to the junction box the fuse box located just below the glow compartment and then it's a4010 and you can see fuse number 48 fuse number 48 it has a 40 ampere fuse and this is an inbuilt one so if you go and uh, take it to a local shop they will not identify the particular fuse they will ask you to change the fuse box itself so if you want to try you can just open it apart and put a regular fuse or solder it uh, to the particular area I'll try to solder it and uh, try to add to this video I've just taken uh, one of the fuse out uh, this was the cover which was coming with this uh, fuse carrier you can see there are two legs in here two legs in here one of the legs got broken uh, I, I just had to put a flat head screwdriver in here and just wide it open that's it I just did this way uh, it was not difficult but this is the situation you can see the fuse has blown out from here actually it should come just like this uh, so 
my plan is I will just solder this together so next time if the fuse has to blow out then it, it can blow out from here I guess so I'll just uh, solder this and connect everything back and see if it helps or not all right uh, let me see and I'll update this all right I have uh, got the fuse soldered in here you can see that and there is proper connectivity now not able to hold it properly because lead is too weak now I just have to put uh, the particular uh, support this is the support mm. so I just have to put it inside and just press it so that it fits to the body this is the way I have to do it I'm gonna apply a little bit of uh, super glue because one of the legs is broken in here as you can see so that it binds up properly this is a tedious work I don't like to deal with super glues so I have uh, used a plier to press it properly so that it uh, falls into the groove and uh, just applied a little bit of super glue on top again so now it's ready and uh, this is the fuse box uh, enclosure you can see this i have shown this in my earlier videos so it should just come like this now I'll just have to place it inside properly. You can see in here, uh, this particular, uh, what do you call, the lead has to go in between and each of these legs should go into each of these grooves. placing it properly have to apply a little bit of pressure now as we remove you have to push each of them back to the place be on proper place you can see the projection in here it should be to the center so that it comes directly to the grooves so I'm gonna start from here push it all the way from the support so that it doesn't break slowly one by one to the groove Hopefully you have to apply a little bit of pressure because you know you can go properly to the grooves. Back to the positions I guess. You can see here the connectors one two three four and the last one was the one that I was having problem so again checking the connectivity it is gone then all my work is oh I still have the connectivity so hopefully I didn't damage anything right 
can see that. Yeah. Uh, see, it's connected. When I remove, the connection is gone. So it's a closed circuit now. And everything on positions. Oh my gosh. Now, this is the top cover. Just push it down. Make sure all the grooves are set, all the clips went through the groove. Yeah, looks fit. I'll put back all the fuses back. Uh, I have taken a picture so that I know which fuse go to which particular fuse unit. Uh, and I hope it works. Let me check, the, uh, check it after I connect it to the car and we'll update you after that. Oh, I can see this is a dismantled uh, FCU which controls the AC fan is just located uh, on the fan motor itself. There is a bit of dust in between. I'll just clean it away. I don't know what the function is, but we'll let you know if uh, there is any good news. You can see it's burned out from here. The connector. This is the positive connector. And this is the negative. The positive was uh, burned out. I think there was a high load. That's the reason it got uh, burnt. Yeah, I have uh, just connected all the fuses, connections, everything is back. The junction box electronics is on the place. Uh, everything is set. And now I'm gonna turn the ignition on you can see the fan in here i have made the connection you can see there is a burn it was due to a short circuit between uh, these two eyes i'm sorry out of focus these two wires uh, were uh, joined together due to uh, i think the heat produced due to the load taken by the fan I guess I'm not sure about that so this is my FC unit this is my fan I'm just gonna turn the ignition on to check All right hopefully that solved my problem I don't know for how long but it is working now one more thing when you put the uh, fan, AC fan back you have to make sure that this particular path there is a hole in the fan cover so the hole should go through this groove all right so that it stays in position and first thing you have to make sure if this uh, the torque screw this one this one should be tightened first then second one will be this one uh, sorry this one third one this one all right and the last one the one in here oh. light is too weird see here this one it's behind so just make sure you do this way so that you don't waste your time open the glove box and uh, take the cover out to make sure there is enough visibility inside 